guys, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Ian at All Out Adventure Scotland, where we make the adventures happen. Today's video, we're going to be uh, swapping out the current air intake system on the KTM 890 Adventure R and giving it a little bit of an upgrade using the uh, the twin air products. Uh, I've got a twin air uh, filter itself, and then we're going to put on the uh, the pre-filter setup. Now, I know Rottweiler is probably going to diss me for saying this, but um, why spend £750 on a Rottweiler intake system when you can pretty much get the same effect by just... Uh, Upgrading to something as simple as a twin air, air filter and then adding on to the air filter. You're still going to get the same protection and you're still going to completely uh, seal the unit. So yeah, um, as a kit, as you see here, everything's good to go. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up and uh, yeah, let's get after it. So guys, as part of the kit then, you're going to get the twin air, air filter itself, already comes in the case ready to go, so it's plug and play. We're going to remove the uh, the current paper filter out of there. Uh, probably nothing wrong with the current setup, uh, obviously KTM test their bikes rigorously before they release them, etc. And uh, the 890R uh, is a, a beast of a machine. Um, however, due to the aggressive nature of the off-road riding I do, I just don't have the confidence that that's going to protect me if, uh, if it all goes horribly wrong. Um, and obviously being in Scotland, uh, get four seasons in one day here. So dusty, muddy, wet, yeah, I want the best protection for the bike. Um, so yeah, standard air filter, that cost me about 40 bucks. Got that off of uh, Amazon and it was shipped next day. And then the actual pre-filter system itself comes with it. The com kit complete, good to go. Both these filters are pre-oiled, but I am going to re-oil them again just for self-confidence um, using a, an off-road uh, air filter oil mix. Uh, yeah, and basically, we're going to remove all the intake system as it is just now, completely remove that, we'll plug up all the gaps uh, using the kit that's provided and that's going to enclose the system and then you're going to effectively have two layers of defence. So your first layer of defence is going to be uh, the pre-filter kit and then into the airbox itself. So once they're all oiled up, uh, you get maximum protection for the bike. So yeah, let's uh, get it all fitted up. So guys, tools required, you're going to need a Torx 30 bit. Something to take off the bolts that are obviously covering the uh, the current uh, air filter system. Like I say, you don't need to uh, oil up your filters if you don't want to. They, these twin air filters already come pre-oiled, but you know that thing. I don't know how long that's been sitting, but that feels pretty dry to me. That's that's not a lot of oil on that. So I'm going to pre oil them up some more. The uh, stuff I use is the Peterlean stuff, off-road mix uh, for the off-road terrain. Uh, great stuff. Used it on my motocross bikes and Euro bikes, and that never had a problem. If you are going to do it. Obviously, get it all oiled up properly. Get some of the excess oil out. Squeeze it out as much as you can. So, oil in. Work it through the uh, the filter. Don't leave any bits uncovered. So, if you are going to pre-oil this up again, any gaps you leave will effectively uh, give a filter directly into the air intake. So, any air can get drawn through this filter. We'll go to the weakest point, so make sure it's evenly oiled out if you are going to give it some more oil. All right, can you see that? I mean, that looked pretty right to me. So, squeeze out the excess, yeah. Now, that's good to go, in my opinion, anyway. But, like I say, it's 20 years been in this business for a long time, so they know what they're talking about. Again, the foam filters, fantastic piece of kit. Yeah, you can take them out, reuse them, wash them, clean them thoroughly. Uh, no issues. Get some oil in there. Oh. Again, just work it through the uh, the foam. And that is the filters good to go. So in order to uh, get this thing set up, prepped, ready to go, obviously you're going to remove the cross member needs to come off that holds this, uh, the seat latch on. So this cross member is coming off, teeth, uh, torch 30 bits, four bolts, take these off, and then obviously remove the cover and the casing into the current air box system. And then we're going to remove the current air inbox pipes. Um, they're going to get taken off and not reused. All right, so we'll go that far and get, get these off. Thank <laughs> you. 
These are going to get reused as well, so you need to keep them safe. And they just pull off. Like I said, they're not going to get reused, so yeah, if you want to keep them for a later date to put back onto the bike. One of the things they do need to come off, these rubber grommets, these need to come off, because uh, we're going to use these in conjunction with sealing up the unit, so... Yeah, so the flange needs to be up the upside, not the smooth side. The smooth side is what's going inside, and that's where the caps are going to fit onto. So you basically just turn the opposite way around. What come off the right hand side is what's going on the left, and what's going to come off the left is going on the right hand side. If that makes sense. So once you're happy with the fitment, there's your seals, even lettered, right and left. It's just going to slot in there like that. Make sure you don't crouch the rubber down. And same on the other side. Again, just make sure you get a seal. You don't uh, buckle the rubber. Easy as that. Happy days. Right, now we're going to pull out the, uh, the existing filter. And get the retaining latch first. Pull that one out. That's the sleeve that's going to hold the, the air filter in place. Pull out the existing air filter. So guys, uh, once you've cleaned out your air box in, you should be pretty much good to go. Just uh, make sure you get rid of, uh, rid of any excess dirt or anything in there. Because uh, like I said, you are going to completely seal this unit up um, once it's once it's all been done. So you get your two um, foam inserts. They're going to plug and seal your two outlets at the bottom there. So they're a bit fiddly to get in. Push them down into the, uh, into the gaps. Uh... Try and get them the right way up. I've, re I've oiled these as well. There wasn't any oil in these, they were pretty dry. So, get your fingers down in there, push them down. And then you've got your two alloy covers to go in as well. Again, they're only going to go in one way. You can see what way they're going to go in. So, get them down in there, and they're going to hold the foam, little foam filters in place. And it should literally be a case of push and plug. Then if you get big shovel hands like myself, maybe a bit of fumbling about. Yep, uh, there we go, there's one in. And then down with the other one. Yep, that's it, good to go. It'll come with a bit of rubber sleeve accessory as well. I've already cut mine to size and I've inserted it along the gap there and again that's going to give you that a nice uh, nice seal when it comes to air fills and stuff i like to make sure that the seal is complete um even if it is just using a little bit of my own uh, grease as well so around the filter seal where it's going to make contact with the seal inside the box i just put a little line of grease around here um, and that's just going to again further create the seal for me doesn't need a lot Just go around the edge, a bit of grease. Yep. That's only going to go in one way or so. Twin air up. Insert. Push it down until you feel you get the seal. And then reinsert your sleeve. There we go. And you're going to replace your uh, factory filter cover 
with uh, the placement part, and this is what the uh, the pre-filter is going to sit on once it's fitted. So again, it can only go one way. You can see where the holes are going to marry up. Stay uh, back, get another little chill and grease around there. Just cover that up. This is more for peace of mind than anything else. I do it with everything, so just good, uh, good practice, I suppose. Yeah, you hear a click, or you should hear a click. There you go. You can now replace your uh, two torch bolts back on. And then the filter itself just slits on the top. It's only going to go in one way. You can see where it's going to slot in. It fits on top like that. Again, it's going to be a little bit messy for your seat once it's on there, especially if you put a little bit more oil on it. And then your attachment device. All it is is an ally clip. Get it underneath the clips, and what you're going to do is push down and back. And hopefully it should all clip in. There we go. Easy as that. Again, just to uh, keep everything tucked out of the way. Put your cross member back on. It's going to go back on the same way it came off. So it might be a little bit stiff and just lining it up. Voila! So guys, uh, there you go, uh, nice and easy fitment for the uh, the 20 air, air filter and the pre-filter setup. Uh, I know it's a bit of a sound comparison there, sorry I didn't get one uh, with the bike running previously. Uh, obviously I'm in the middle of building a bit of a studio going on here, so let me know in the comments uh, if you've got any food for thought and how I can uh, better do my videos. Uh, and like I said, if you do enjoy the content, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks for watching.